Tawang panahon, isang malawak na disyerto lang ang lugar na ito. Kung saan walang sapat na tubig. Pero noong 1998, isang klase ng ibon ang dumating sa lugar. Ang dating tuyong disyerto, paano nga ba naging pugad ng mga Greater Flamingo? Libu-libong Greater Flamingos ang dumadaya sa UAE taon-taon para umiwas sa malamig na klima ng mga pinanggagalingan nilang bansa. At isa ang Alwatba Wetland Reserve dito sa Abu Dhabi sa mga napili nilang puntahan. Okay, so this is our hide. No? So for, for us uh, not to disturb them, right? Okay, let's see. Pero dito sa vantage point na to, dito na natin yung mga flamingos. Ayan, no? You can see them scattered all over this wet line. Kilala ang mga flamingo dahil sa matingkad nilang kulay at mahabang binti. Sa kabila ng kanilang laki, kaya nilang lumipad ng mataas, tulad ng ibang ibon. Ang nakikita natin eh, may variety ng colors yung mga nakikita natin ng mga flamingos. Some of them already white with pink legs. Some of them have darker plumage, white to gray. And some of them are white. Una kong napansin ang grupong ito na parang sumasayaw habang sama-sama maghahanap ng pagkain. Makikita from here kung gaano kalaki yung ibon, especially if they spread out their wings. No? Uh, pero kapag nakatayo lang sila hunting ng food, parang napakanipis, very graceful, parang ballerina nga yung dating nila. Eh, no? And yung haba rin ng paa nila is adaptive to the habitat that they're using to get their food kasi nga swampy area. Ayan, adult na yan kasi meron na siyang pink plumage. They get that color from the food that they eat. Kailangan nilang stir up yung water. Pinagkukuha na nila ng pagkain so that they can actually scoop their food out and filter the mud and all the soil out of their beaks before they'd be able to swallow it. Isa sa mga napansin natin dito sa mga ibon, they would tend to flock together and uh, I guess for safety reasons, no? kapag magkakasama sa kasi sila, they can easily warn each other for an impending danger. Maya-maya pa, unti-unti nang nagdatingan ang iba pang flamingo. At nakita ko kung gaano nga ba sila karami dito sa Alwatba. You can just really observe yung mga flamingos when they fly, when they land. So graceful. Nung pag makikita mo sila, they're huge birds when they fly. And ang lalaki, they're like 5 feet from head to their uh, feet, no? But when they start to fly, it's something else. They become a different creature, no? At saka yung kulay nila, mas display nila when they do that. Nakikita natin itong isa naman na pagdating. Before siya mag-landing, hindi katulad ng ibang ibon na pag lumapag, that's it. Sila, may era sila na nalandingan. To control nila yung wings nila, to control their, siguro yung impact nila sa ground before they'll be able to stop. So parang eroplano yung pag-landing nila at pag-takeoff. Isang saglit pa. Nakita ko ang dahilan kung bakit nandito sa Alwat ba ang mga greater flamingo. Ito yung mga juvenile. Itim pa yung kulay. So when they hatch, mas grayish and darker colors. And as they grow older, the gray ones become lighter and lighter. Kwento ni Dr. Shahid Basher Khan ng Environment Agency, Abu Dhabi.
Matagal nang dumadaan sa UAE ang mga Greater Flamingo. Pero nagsumula lang silang mag-breed o magparami dito sa Abu Dhabi nang bigyan sila ng proteksyon. They attempted to breed but this time they were successful. The number of chicks was not very high. It was uh, almost like 10. But then it was something very very important that happened in Alwar. The last breeding record was from 1925 which, has, which had happened in Kuwait. Kung kanina nakakita tayo around 200 individual large flamingos, siguro multiply that by five or six times, that's the amount of birds that we're seeing at this side, at this very moment. Ang dami nila, grabe. Totoo nga ang bugat ng mga greater flamingo ang Alwatba Wetland Reserve. Pero ang pagdating nila rito, hindi raw sinasadya. installation of the Mafrak sewage treatment plant which is just adjacent on the north side of the reserve. They did not know what to do with the water. The option was to release it into this uh, low-lying area. It became bigger and it used to have water for a longer period of time. Yeah. So with the result what happened, we, we got more birds and more species of birds into, the, into this area. Dahil sa nangyari, Idineklara ang Alwat ba bilang isang wetland reserve noong 1998. Sa patuloy na pagkonti na lang ng kanilang habitat na tinitirahan, they would continuously look for areas where they can thrive and settle in. And this is a very good example of that. Hindi siya sinadya, hindi siya ginawa. It just happened and the government, ito mismo ang bansa, accepted that change and contributed to the development of this area. Maraming beses na akong nakapunta sa mga lugar na dating tirahan ng mga hayo. Pero nasira dahil sa pag-unlad at pagpapago. Kaya naman magandang makarating sa lugar tulad ng Alwatba. Kung saan mga tao naman ang nagbigay daan para magkaroon ng ligtas na tahanan ang mga buhay ilang.